and tacky Taurus next Thursday. Have fun being so crazy. Bye! Hey, back there you said something about gratitude. What is gratitude? Gratitude is being super thankful for the things you have and the things around you, like friends, portraits, and art, and everything, you know? We are going to talk about saying thank you. Did you know expressing gratitude is scientifically proven to make you happier? Here's the deal. Humans operate on what's called a hedonic treadmill. It means we generally stabilize at one level of happiness. Going to a party or going to the beach might perk you up for a minute, but generally your level of happiness stays constant, whether you spend a day at the park or at the doctor. Basically, we take the things that make us happy for granted, so they stop psyching us up. By practicing gratitude and constantly examining what you're thankful for and why, you stop ignoring what makes you happy. Essentially, being actively grateful will make you a happier person. For example, Dr. Emmons gave 300 people journals and divided these people into three groups. One group had to write daily lists of things that they were grateful for. Another group had to write daily lists of things that annoyed them. And the last group, well, they could write about whatever popped in and out of their minds. Batman, strawberries, whatever. Emmons found that people who wrote about things that they were grateful for had a much higher level of well-being than the other two groups. Not only that, they slept better and exercised more. Group A's simple act of writing down what they were thankful for seemed to kickstart their brains. So, it's time to kickstart your brain with today's wellness exercise. Write things I am grateful for at the top. If you're the kind of person that likes to be micromanaged, draw three columns and label people, places, and things. Take five minutes each night this week and add things to those columns. At the end of the week, take a look at the list. It's pretty long, huh? It's time for phase two. Time to express a little gratitude out loud to others. I'm so thankful you're my friend, Kaylin, and you're just so supporting, kind, and nice. This is gratitude. Look. We're not saying you have to be one of those people who thanks trees for oxygen. I mean, you can, but just go down your list. Pick one of the things you wrote down and think about who gave it to you. Actually expressing gratitude will help you get off that hedonic treadmill and make you feel better about all the little things. Draft a letter to this person. It's okay. You can explain to them that a YouTube video is telling you to do this. But then get serious. Tell the person what you're so grateful for and why, and then thank them sincerely for it. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for how God made us and how we live on this planet. Phoenix, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my, for my teachers and for my parents allowing me to play baseball. Well, I'm thankful for my friends and family. <laughs> my mom. What are you thankful for, Mrs. Lewis? I am thankful for my family, my students, the wonderful teachers here at Mills, and my new puppy, Tucker Wayne. Thankful for my family, my friends, and my pets. Thank you. I'm thankful for my teacher. I am thankful for working at Mills Elementary and for being around kids, such as you. You guys make my day, you really do. I'm thankful for my friends and pets. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for being able to go to this school and all the friends I have made.
on November 20 and 21st. Yes, there is. Remember to come to school Monday and Tuesday, the week of Thanksgiving. No, it's...